like a normal person, but like a normal American person. But I think he was Egyptian or something like that. So I don't, I don't know why he would look like that. And I don't know why the United States portrays him as a white male when he was clearly not. Growing up in Catholic school, all the pictures of Jesus were always of him, a white man with a beard, long curly, like wavy hair. Um, but I mean, he was from a different part of the world, so I really do think that he was darker skin. You know, how everybody makes him out, the long hair, the beard, you know, kind of skinny guy scruffy looking a little bit, you know. I believe that Jesus wore sandals and he had very long hair and a long beard. I kind of always had this idea that Jesus really just looks like whoever you want him to be. I mean, sometimes I've gone to, to like flea markets and things and like I've seen pictures of Jesus as like an African American man. Sometimes I see him with darker complexion to look a little more Hispanic, um, Oriental descent, Arab, whatever. I kind of just feel like you really shouldn't put a a picture or a face on him when I guess God's message was to just listen to this person who who should be faceless in a weird way. Jesus as a human being, I think from uh, the studies that I have done, not extensive, but certainly Jesus was a Middle Eastern male. Uh, and recently I've listened to some, uh, of course, uh, tapes that I've had, uh, I have, and uh, those tapes talk about Jesus being that Middle Eastern male who would really, really look very much like the people we see on TV every night when we see the Iraqi war being transmitted to our living room. Joyful, joyful Lord, we adore thee. God of glory, Lord of power. Jesus was married and had children because, you know, he was a normal man, I think, that went through all different stages of life and you know I've read different things that said he was married to Mary Magdalene and they had a baby so it definitely makes sense to say that he would do that. I don't think it is possible that he was married because I think there would have been some kind of like documentation or something like that but I think it is possible that he could have knocked up a girl and possibly had kids. My God, my I don't know that he is the figure of so many debates. I think everybody agrees that he was a great you know, helper and moral figure. I don't, I don't think people um, debate about him. They debate about whether he was God or not. I went to Catholic grade school, so I was always taught that Jesus was divine. Um, there have been readings that he was a teacher of the prophet, but um, I think that's a little more realistic. As I grew older, I kind of um, drew away from the divine and him being the son of God um, to him just being a teacher. Well, I think Jesus is the, uh, there's so much to debate about Jesus is because everyone, there's always the question is whether he was real or not. And I, I think that it's like scientifically proven that he was actually a real person, but you know, is he the, the son of God or whatever? And you know, he was, killed by Pontius Pilate and all that stuff. So I guess people just want to know like if he really did the things that he did because I mean he was a real man but you know was he who they say he was. Face, I'll stand forever in the light of his amazing grace. Religion was never necessarily like a part of my life. I was never forced to go to church or anything like that. Um, it wasn't until maybe um, high school that I started to go to church a little more. My parents always kind of influenced me to believe in God and to believe in, not necessarily Jesus, but more so in God and his message and that help help you through anything that you really need help with. As far as Christianity goes, I don't really believe any of the miracles that have occurred, that people have claimed. The sun to raise your love. school but I'm also a practicing Lutheran so my views are a little bit different than the Catholic belief obviously I think that the Catholic religion when you're receiving the Eucharist it's the the actual body and blood of Christ 
And in Lutheran li- religion, it's you're receiving the remembrance of the body and blood of Christ. So I definitely believe that it's a remembrance. It's not. It's not really what it is. I think it's definitely a symbolic. God show me the way because the devil trying to break me down. Yes, I would say that he is a presence, that Jesus is a presence in my life. Um, I'm not sure how I would describe it other than really just indescribable. It's just a feeling. It's just little things here and there that you notice, that you see. I never really thought that Jesus Jesus was like a true presence in my life until I had a baby and throughout the whole experience of just having felt a baby kick inside was probably the weirdest and coolest feeling in the world and I mean I went to Catholic school for so long but I never really felt like Jesus was in my life because I've had so many close people to me die so I always thought like I never thought he was really a presence in my life, but once I had a child, it all, it really changed. Jesus has always been more of a part of God to me, I guess. Like, not so much the Trinity as the Catholic religion would see it, but just a presence like God as well that you can pray to. I believe that you can pray to anything as long as it's good and part of nature. In a course that I took here at Cabrini College on world religions, um, we came up with a definition in that course of what is religion. And religion is a personal transformation after contact with ultimate reality, or God, what we call God. And certainly we Christians believe that Jesus is God. And I, I certainly believe that personal transformation comes about if we really, really have a deep relationship with our Lord. Afterlife, it's always been a very prominent part of my beliefs. I believe in heaven and hell, but my beliefs in them have changed over the years. I don't believe that hell is like you burn in it, that's like you were taught, you burn in hell with the heathens, and I don't believe that anymore. I believe that if you're sorry for your sins and you will go to heaven, and I believe that hell is more of a state of being alone and not with the people you love, and that heaven is being with the people you love and God and Jesus. I do believe in the afterlife. Um, it's more of a physics thing that I just believe it goes hand in hand with evolution and um, every particle, like I believe that when you die basically, um, kind of like the Catholic religion would say you go to ashes, kind of you just come back as like good or bad energy. Um, And that took a lot of thinking to decide that, but basically whenever you experience something and you feel good, that's like kind of the afterlife and I guess we come back as just energy which is slightly different than I think the stereotypical Catholic view of like there being this man in the sky and um, whatever else angels and all that but I guess there could be that too but that's just the way I'd My idea of Jesus early on was not the same as it is today. I was brought up in a rather strict home, and my first image of God really, I think, was projected by my parents, especially my father, who seemed to be a rather strict and severe person. Uh, It took me a long time to get over that image of God. Uh, In fact, I think it was through prayer, through reflection upon scripture, that I eventually came to the realization of of God as being somebody who is kind and merciful. And so I would have to say that I think after much reflection and prayer, uh, certainly Jesus would be someone uh, who is kind and merciful, someone who is always seeking uh, and reaching out to help people. My beliefs have definitely changed since being out of high school because in high school they taught you the same thing every day and in grammar school they taught you the same thing every day and when now I've gone to college I choose not to go to church because I don't believe in it and I choose when to pray and if I want to pray and what I really believe that Jesus is. I've always felt that he was a very good man with very high principles and a common touch with uh, people that he helped. I still I don't like to go to church because I feel like it's too 
competitive all the time. I feel like you're like a soldier. Like you're there like doing the same responses every single week and it's like some parts of the match you're like, what am I saying? Like why am I saying this? So I think that that aspect hasn't really changed over time, but I think I, I see a whole new part of Jesus, I guess. Uh, I'd say they're pretty much the same. I, uh, you know, I went to church and had to do like the whole like go to Sunday school as a little kid, and you know they taught you all about Jesus. And uh, I guess really it's just you know I kind of have the same opinion about him. You know, he did all those great things. He's the Son of God and this and that. What I once felt, I think, it was basically what what exactly what I was taught is exactly what I thought. Um, but today, I think I have more of, of um, an understanding of my surroundings and he's not as big as a figure in my life as he once was um, just because it's it kind of seems like some of the things could be made up um, but he is still a big part of my life today when I was younger I used to think that I'd be punished for any sin that I might be committed but over time I realized that that's not true that's not gonna happen I think I've lost my beliefs more than gained beliefs over the years and now that I go to a Catholic college I, it's kind of cemented that I really don't believe in what I used to when I was little, I think I pictured him as, as this, like, ghost guy, like, I don't know. I think when I was little, I definitely pictured him a lot differently than I do now. I think I picture him more as a historical figure, somebody who was written about in the Bible, like, written, oh, God. I definitely don't picture him as a ghost anymore. <laughs> Growing up, I used to believe all the stories in the Bible about him walking on water and all the kind of mystical things he's done. But uh, today, I kind of think he was just a really good prophet, and he died for what he believed in. And I'm not sure if he is the Son of God or not anymore. I never had an impression of Jesus growing up. Again, it was more so, um, you know, believe in God and his message. My mother never really said, you know, Jesus this she never really explained to me how you know Jesus died for your sins and all this stuff because when I read the Bible I think it's like nice and good stories but I don't really it's hard for me to believe in the stories when it's kind of like everybody just makes up their own interpretation of situations that it could have very well been that different things happened um, and other people just kind of like made the rest up by themselves so I never really had an idea of Jesus and I guess I still don't I think it's more so my my faith in God that's changed from being there to being a little rocky to somehow at the end of the day it's still there. God show me the way because the devil trying to break me down.